Ya se me corta, ya se corta. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hello. One, two, three, four. It doesn't work. Can you make it work? It works? Finally. Good evening. So you have the final and that's it. School is over. Amen to that. Well, <coughs> you want me to be there or here? Here. I like it better here. Sorry for the cameras, but you have to adapt. <laughs> let's, before we start, let's have a prayer. Father in heaven, in humbleness, we bow down and thank you for your love. And right now, Father, we pray that you come with your spirit. And you touch every heart. You know the needs. You know the plans you have. We pray that you take over and you'll be the one to speak, to open the word, to move and transform. And may it all be for your glory. Father, we pray in humbleness in Jesus' name and thank you. Amen. And so... Huh? And so, <clears throat> do you ever wonder why some of the prayers are answered and some of the prayers seem not to be answered? Did it ever happen to you that you pray for a month, for two, for six months and there is no answer? Did it ever happen to you? Yes? No? Are you here? What I said, does it ever happen that you pray and you have no answer to prayer? Why? Tell me why. Because the Bible says that whatever you ask in my name, it will be given to you. Why? I think that the answer is very simple. Uh, people try to do better work in school, to do better work in ministry. People try to change themselves. People try to give up some sins. For instance, I was born very impatient, losing my temper in a second. And I prayed for patience forever. And the more I pray, the more I lose my temper. And so if I don't pray, it seems that I am more patient than if I pray for patience. When I pray, God, give me patience, then everybody bothers me and I lose it. Why? Sure, obviously, if you ask God to give you patience, He's going to give you trouble, so you have reason to learn patience. So you better don't pray. <laughs> so, how do you do it? Can you change yourself? Can you do anything to change your heart, to change your temper, to change your character? Can you do anything? People do try. In ministry, the harder I worked, the more I worked, the less success I had. Nobody would get baptized. I was kind of the worst pastor. I had no success. And I worked hard, and I did visiting, and I did Bible studies, and I did evangelism. Zero results. I remember one time talking to my dad, and I said, whatever I do, I have no success. And my father said, because you work, lazy people have success. I said, what? You should stop working. If you want to get success, you should stop working. I said, no, that's wrong. My son, he told me, the more he would learn for school, the worse grades he would get. Can, can you understand me? This sound system is kind of, it has like an echo. It's like I can hear myself and listen to me preaching, you know? My, my son told me that the more...